Troubling story that developed in recent days involving now former Seahawks tackle Chad Wheeler. He was jailed over the weekend on charges of suspicion of domestic violence. The details are shocking. You can find them online. We've got links to the stories at PFT. The Seahawks, after I think just hoping they could let nature take its course, he was going to be a restricted free agent. You just don't tender him. You let him go. It never comes up again. They eventually had to act. They issued this statement, which I think was appropriate. And uh, it was it was a day of a lot of people wondering why the Seahawks weren't saying anything, why the NFL wasn't saying anything. The NFL told me they were reviewing the matter under the personal conduct policy. But the details were so shocking that it cried out for something more immediate. And there were other players, current and former players, that, that were basically saying that this is not acceptable. Demario Davis, everyone that represents the NFL, should speak out against this. And also Benjamin Watson said, let this be a wake-up call. And the NFL had its wake-up call with Ray Rice. I, I just, I, I think that when we see guys like Ezekiel Elliott get suspended for six games, and I know it took time for it to happen. It didn't happen immediately, but he was never even arrested. When you have an arrest, when you have credible allegations, when you have a guy who's placed on $400,000 bail, that is a more serious matter for the NFL. And again, I think from a PR standpoint, my guess is, Nobody wanted to bring more attention to it and thought it'll just kind of fizzle out. They eventually had to act because it clearly, Chris, was not going to fizzle out, and it shouldn't have fizzled out. No, no, that's not the type of story that is going to fizzle out. You're right. I mean, the, the Seahawks, they, they got to the bottom of it and got it you know, done the right way, but that's scary. I mean, it's a scary incident. We know that. Um, that could have been, you know, it sounds like it was teetering very close to being a very dangerous, bad look for the league in general. And those type of things. And, you know, I, I give guys like Demario Davis, Benjamin Watson, a lot of credit for kind of getting out there and, and yeah, just putting their name to it and going like, not acceptable. We're not going to stand for this. And uh, of course we shouldn't. We hear all the time that playing in the NFL is a privilege, not a right. And if that's the case, that privilege needs to be revoked immediately when right. something like this happens. And, you know, the sad reality is if this had happened to a star player, there would be a second chance. For Chad Wheeler, there won't be a second chance because he's not good enough. If he was good enough, someone at some point, somewhere, would talk about how as a society we embrace second chances and he's made amends and you know, you know and, and it's at the expense of someone else's first chance who's never done anything wrong because there's only 53 spots on a roster. But we know how that works in sports. That's not an indictment only of the NFL. I don't know this all one though. Sports at all one. levels. If you're, uh, but if you're good enough. The passage of time, and if you make amends, you check all the right boxes, you're going to get a second chance if you're good enough. If you're not, bye-bye. If you, if you are, they'll find a way to do it. I mean, my God, Mike Vick was back in the NFL two months after he got out of prison. I, I understand, I, 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 you know, but I don't think in a lot of people's eyes that like, is as is, is egregious and crazy sometimes is the thought of this giant man having choked some woman or, you know, allegedly and dealing those things. And, you know, you see some of the other horror stories that were out there around it and things like that. You know, this one is one where oh, I don't know. I don't know if I could say that, oh, if he was a lot better, he'd get a free pass with this one. I, I don't know. When you When you start talking about – some of the things we hear allegedly and things like that, I think teams would be a little scared, certainly, like like the let, Ray let, Rice let, situation. Let, let me just say this before we take our break, and I'm not going to name names here, but there's a guy who's getting ready to play in the Super Bowl who was involved in a very egregious set of facts and pleaded guilty to certain crimes years ago. And if he wasn't as fast as he is, he never would have been in the NFL. So your talent secures you a second chance when the facts – that you were involved in otherwise would disqualify you permanently. If you are good enough, you will get your second chance and, and sometimes make the most of it and uh, end up in the Super Bowl as one of the best players on one of the two teams. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.